As we think about our revenue function, revenue is produced by multiplying the price we're charging for something multiplied by the quantity that we actually sell. So if we think about this connection in between price and quantity, we refer to this as the demand function. And typically what we do is we have the price along the x-axis and the quantity along the y-axis. But if we think about it, as we increase our price, we're going to sell less of a good. Right? We've priced people out. So the more you charge for something, the more you, further you move off to the right, the lower our quantity is going to be. So it's going to be a decreasing function overall. So one of our goals is we want to maximize our revenue, right? We want to be selling the very most um, or bringing in the very most money we possibly can. So there's this delicate balance of we'd like to increase prices, but as we increase prices, we're going to sell less of the good. So to figure out exactly what that nice price is, where we should be pricing our items to bring in the most amount of money possible, the most revenue, we use elasticity of demand. So it's this nice formula where we take the absolute value of our price divided by our quantity. And as we do this, it's important that you have your demand function so that Q is on one side by itself or Q is in terms of P, is how we read that off mathematically sometimes. So Q is going to be on one side by itself. Um, because the demand function, sometimes P is on one side by itself, sometimes Q is. So we may have to rearrange that to make sure Q is on one side by itself. But we're going to take the absolute value of the price over the quantity, and then multiply it by DQ DP. So what does that mean? Let's think about this. That's Leibniz notation. But if you wanted to think the exact same way, using prime notation, that means Q prime, the derivative of Q with respect to P over there, multiplied by P over Q. Now, to interpret this, after we get done, we make it positive, right? That's what the absolute value part means. But if that number that comes out is less than 1, what that means is we call that inelastic, all right? And we should raise our prices to increase our revenue. If that's a number bigger than 1, greater than 1, like 3 or something like that, we call that elastic. And if we raise our prices, we're going to decrease our revenue. So if we want to make the most revenue possible, we should probably actually decrease our prices. Now where we want to be sitting to have the most amount of revenue coming as possible is when E, the elasticity of demand, equals 1. We call this unitary, right? 1 is a unit. And this is where we're going to get critical points of the revenue function, right? This is where we can maximize our revenue because those occur at critical points. So interpreting this, what we can say is for if the price increases by 1%, then demand is going to decrease by E%, percent, right? So um, if you increase by 1%, and your demand, the amount you're selling, decreases by less than 1%, then you want to raise your prices, right? Because it's price times quantity. If, however, you increase by 1%, it decreases by over 1%, you want to decrease prices to maximize your revenue. But the sweet spot really is if you increase prices by 1%, you only decrease by 1%, then everything stays equivalent, right? So that's where you want to be sitting to maximize your revenue is at unitary or elasticity of demand equaling 1. Let's get into some examples on the next video and show you how this works.